Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the 5.1 game update notes in Disney Mirrorverse. So if you are new, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel and also follow my Twitter down in the description down below to stay updated when I do upload. So let's get straight into it. So when you go into the game update notes, you have Jaffa. Now Jaffa is coming as a playable guardian in Disney Mirrorverse. We had him as a boss and now we get to play him so I'm excited to actually test him out and see what he's like. Now you might be thinking it's just Jaffa next month but there is actually potentially going to be the two new guardians as well coming. I did mention it to Kabam and they didn't actually give anything away but they did put the eyes up emoji so we could have two new guardians coming as well as Jaffa next month in Disney Mirrorverse. So we're just going to get straight into the actual content coming next month. So we have Story Act 2 Chapter 1. So Act 2 Fractured Bonds is officially here. In this story act, prepare to immerse yourself in a new and exciting storyline told by the perspective of villains. The story picks up right after the ending of Act 1. Following Hades' defeat, Jaffa uses the opportunity to propose a different approach to defeat the Guardians that they won't see coming. So the first chapter of this new act, Chapter 1, An Uneasy Alliance, comes with unique challenges and marks the beginning of new adventures full of magical twists. So this act is about villains. Players must bring at least one villainous guardian to play each chapter on normal difficulty. Hard difficulty requires two villains and expert needs three villain guardians. So assemble your best villain teams and prepare to embark on a new quest full of great rewards. So I'm really excited about this. I did really want this in Disney Mirrorverse where you had to actually create teams based on different requirements. So having this is really good as well, so you want to rank up your villain guardians. So to access the new act players you must complete all acts 1 normal difficulty chapters. So with the release of this new chapter, new limited time objectives will be available until June 5th to reward your efforts with exclusive cosmetics and valuable resources. So we also got limited time objectives, which I'm very excited about. So during the first 24 hours of the chapter's release, players will enjoy a double energy recharge rate to assist in adventuring deeper into the story. We've always had double energy when we get like a new act in the story modes. So yeah, that's really good as well. So you want to take advantage of that when the act actually drops. So moving on, we have the story objectives. So new objectives for collecting stars in Act 1 of Story Quest have been added. So get 3 to 5 star choice crystals for completing all stars on normal to expert difficulty. So this is really good as well. We get a 3 to 5 star choice crystal. Very excited for that. So moving on we have the campaign quest update. So after unlocking one of the new featured event guardians, New catch-up encounters gives players the opportunity to advance their new guardians even further. In each campaign quest, after completing the seventh encounter, two new encounters that require the use of the new featured guardian will appear. Each encounter will provide great rewards to help level up quickly. Rewards include most gems and featured guardian shards to contribute towards increasing the guardian's star rating. So this is really good as well. We actually get to take advantage of getting new guardians in Disney Mirrorverse the month they come out and it will just help us get better rewards and we can also increase the guardian star rating as well not just by spending loads of money on the game trying to go for that crystal and getting the guardian from the pools we can actually do it naturally during the event take on these encounters daily to earn more upgrade materials to get your guardian to take on rift raids master difficulty in story and more so these updates will go live on the 26th so next we have the daily objective glowing crystal so the contents of the glowing crystal awarded for completing the earn 100 activity points daily objective have been updated so this change is scheduled to go live on the 16th of may however it may become available earlier to some players so this glowing crystal has been updated to include gold, energy, XP motes and gem shards. So the type of glowing crystal rewarded will change based on a player's story mode progression. Players will receive different glowing crystals as they move from one progression to the next. So you can see all the progression changes here and the updated rewards. So basically if you complete chapter 8 on expert, you can get a 1 to 3 star guardian gold superior XP motes, major to superior energy and tier 3 gem shards. Now you want to keep in mind this is just for the daily objective, other glowing crystals will just be the same, it will be the 1 to 3 star guardian. But the daily objective one just adds more variety to it, so I'm really excited for this as well. It's a good change overall, it just allows you to get more rewards from these daily objective glowing crystals. So moving on we have the guardian update, so there isn't really a buff this month, it's just tiny little fixes, so we've got blue here, we've got Captain Hook, Frozone, Cusco, Minnie Mouse, Sally, Tiana and also Fractured Sug. so nothing really here, it's just like changes in the description and stuff like that, so it's nothing too much. So moving on we have the update and improvement, so claim all button has been added for daily objectives, yes, finally, after so many months of just not wanting to claim those daily objectives, we can finally just press claim all and get them all at once. 
This is probably the best change of the whole update. I'm so excited for this. We've been wanting this for so long and I'm so glad it's finally here. And any other updates and improvements we don't need to go over. But yeah, that is basically it for this month. Some good stuff coming. We have Act 2 and we have the updated Glowing Crystals. We have Jaffa coming and potentially two new Guardians as well. Let me know what you think of the new update down below. Personally, I'm excited for it. We've got a new chapter coming. We've got some updates coming as well. And that claim all button is so good. I cannot wait for it. So quick add-on, whilst I was making this video, we had a different patch notes when you're part of the KCP, you get the patch notes early. And we actually had a different one with a brand new feature. This feature was Disney Mirrorverse coming to PC. Yes, that is true, it is. Now this actually got delayed and it got pushed back. So I wasn't meant to disclose it, but there was a situation where an in-game message got released to the community, basically announcing Disney Mirrorverse to PC. So I can actually disclose it, I can talk about it right now, Disney Mirrorverse will be coming to PC, I cannot wait. This is huge news, you're going to be able to use your keyboard and mouse to actually play the game, to actually fight. I just don't know how it's going to work, but I'm so excited to test it out and just see what it's like. This is really, really big news, not just for the community, but for the future of the game as well. Moving on to a brand new platform is amazing news. It can help the game grow and also get more funding. So the game will just be better overall in the future. So I'm excited for this new feature coming out. I wasn't meant to talk about it, but it got accidentally released. So yeah, just a typical Kaban thing. Another thing as well that accidentally got leaked into the game early is rewards for completing the story. So this is the previous story from chapters one to nine. You actually got yourselves a five star, four star, and also a three star selector. Now this is really good as well. I'm so excited for this. It's just extra rewards. So yeah, this got leaked out, so this should be coming in this month's update. The Disney Reverse coming to PC, huge news, groundbreaking, and I'm excited for it to come. So one more thing I just want to quickly talk about is the Orbital Flash Flood. Now, I was going to make a separate video on this, but I thought I'd just add it on to the end of this. So my thoughts on it, I like it if you're not free to play. Now, at the end of the day, it's just going to be extra rewards if you actually do spend in the game. Now, after the orb daily cards got upgraded to reward more orbs, this is actually a good thing to happen. This is just really good for those players that are actually getting these orb daily cards and also the spenders. Myself, I did buy the orb daily cards. So every day I'm getting myself 500 orbs. So I'm going to be able to do this if I buy crystals. Now the rewards here for spending 5,000 orbs is ridiculous. You get yourself eight legendary relic boxes, a guaranteed four star selector, loads of rank up materials and gold, all for just spending orbs in the game. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Video. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Thank you for the support recently. It really does mean a lot and it really helps me continue making these videos on the channel. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.